Hello everyone, welcome back and thank you for joining us on the Live Unreal with Glover U podcast, where every week Jeff Glover will dive deep into the questions you are asking. He understands the challenges you are facing on a day-to-day basis because he still works every day on the front lines of real estate, with him and his team closing over 1,000 homes per year. We are on the last episode of our seven-part series where Jeff is going to go deep into the seven steps of an effective real estate agent's business plan. On this episode, Jeff will go over steps eight and nine, foreseeable challenges and solutions, and your big why for this year. In these steps, Jeff walks you through how to get very specific on what challenges you will face and how to overcome them to achieve your big why. You can download a blank copy of the plan at www.gloveru.com slash 2019 plan. Now, let's hear from Jeff Glover on how to continue on your business plan for 2019. So this is kind of how we wrap up the plan. So let's start with foreseeable challenges and solutions in step seven of the Glover U plan. So foreseeable challenges and solutions. I want to know what you're expecting to take place or what could hold you back this year. It could be things like as extreme as I'm having a baby or I'm filing for a divorce, things that you know are going to throw you off. Well, let's just say you're having a baby. Oh, that's probably going to take you out for a couple months. All right. So what's the challenge? Challenge. I only have 10 months to complete my plan as opposed to 12. What's the solution? Well, let's write out some ideas of what you may have to do differently uh, before you're, you're gone for those two months. And, and maybe we have to step up the numbers. Maybe we have to increase the intensities two months leading up to or the two months that you come back. Foreseeable challenges and solutions. I want to know what, what could get in your way, what could stop you from hitting your goal this year, and then let's brainstorm some solutions. That's, that's essentially a part A of, of step seven. Part B of step seven, probably a little more exciting than part A, uh, but part A is necessary, so don't leave it out. And almost every single plan we encounter has a couple challenges, so we're all going to have something that we're going to have to deal with. Part B of step seven is my big why, all right? What will I do for myself and my family this year if I hit my goal? And I want you to think about the following. I want you to think about things you can do, Places you can go, things you'd like to have, or in areas that you'd like to invest. Things you'd like to do, all right? What would you like to do with your family? What would you like to do with yourself personally? Uh, where would you like to go? What vacations would you like to take? What, what areas of the country or the world would you like to see? What things would you like to have? What would you like to acquire? What kind of possessions? What new purchases do you have in mind? Or what would you like to invest in? Would you like to buy a new rental property? Now, here's the key to this part of the plan. I want you to be very, very specific. I want to know exactly what it is that you want to accomplish, what your big why, what you're going to do for yourself. I want to know what it's going to cost you. I want to know how much you're going to have to put down on something. I want to know how much your monthly payments are going to be. I want to be very specific. And I want to know a deadline. When do you want to acquire it by? So do, go, have, invest. How much is it going to cost? When do you want to buy? Be as specific as possible because what I really want you to do at the end of every year, I want you to take that list and I want you to turn it into a vision board. Something we do with our associates at the end of every single year. We get this list and then we put it together a vision board. We print out pictures of all the stuff that they want to do, go, have, invest in. We take a red marker or a red Sharpie. We write how much it's going to cost, how many deals they're going to have to do in order to get it, when they want to buy, what month they want to buy, what year they want to buy, and now we've got a full vision board. You should update your vision board every single year. Why? Because you've accomplished things on your board. You've came up with new things that you want. I What I used to do year after year is I would just take my vision board and i flip it over. And I would take stuff that I didn't accomplish and i put it on the, on the clean side. And things that I did accomplish, I'd leave on the back. That way, if ever I was feeling down, I want to remind myself of all the cool things I did or all the cool things I have, I could go visit that. So I want to know, do, go, have, invest when you want to buy, be specific, and take this part of the plan, part seven, the foreseeable challenges and potential solutions, and your big why very seriously. There you have it, the seven steps of the Glover U business plan, this plan that we've been following for years. Uh, If you need any more information from us, you can go to GloverU.com. Follow us on Facebook. I'm always putting some awesome videos out there uh, on, on new stuff going on in the market, new things we're doing. A lot of people don't know this. I'm closing as a team. We're closing a thousand transactions a year, and I'm a hundred. I'm a I'm responsible for a hundred of those. So I'm on the ground with you every single day, 
doing what you're doing. I know what you're going through. Let's have an awesome year. Thank you for taking the time to join Jeff today on the Live Unreal with Glover U podcast. This completes our seven episodes for the Glover U business plan. To finalize part 10 of the plan, coach recommendations, schedule your free customized coaching consultation today. Click on the banner to sign up now or go to www.gloveru.com slash customized coaching consultation. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe. Search for Live Unreal with Glover U on iTunes or Podbean and subscribe today. Until next time, remember, in selling and closing in general, the only no that counts is the last no before you quit.